Good evening, comic community. This is Rob, a.k.a. Batcave Comics, here to share a small haul. I picked up mm, about 10 books, maybe a little less, from a toy and Comic-Con uh, roughly about an hour northeast of me. It was kind of small, but I was pleasantly surprised how packed it was. And it was probably packed because it's one of the earlier cons of the year. People haven't been to one in a while. They were all excited that, uh, uh, you know, the pandemic has kind of cooled off as far as the anxiety and stress of it all. So they're starting to get out and have cons. And I just had a great time. I took my granddaughter. We, uh... Looked around, checked out some books. I basically dug in the dollar bins, and they had quite a few vendors there, but uh, it did take quite a few. Uh, it, it took some digging, mainly because there was a bunch of people there, and they probably grabbed a lot of good stuff. But let me get this started. I did pick up Dragon's Claws, number one, and all these books were from the dollar bin. But the reason why I picked this up, because every time I see this book, which isn't like a ton, it's always beat up. This one here is a near mint. So I figured, you know what? I'm going to pick it up. Second book, Showcase 94, number two, featuring the Joker for a dollar. Always pick up jo uh, Joker coverage. You can never go wrong. And then I found a Blood Syndicate, number one. First team appearance of Blood Syndicate in the newsstand. Now this, I'm not sure which, which is more rare or less printed, it, the uh, direct or newsstand, because I do see quite a few newsstands. I guess it's, it's just preference. And then I also found Hardware number one. First appearance of Hardware in a newsstand. And these, like I say, they're all in near mint. I mean, I, I I might say near mint minus at the least. Next one up, Superman, Man of Steel, number 19. Uh, it's when Doomsday was fully revealed in the newsstand. Happy to find that. I think I uh, have two of these now. So I have the newsstand, the direct, and the DC Universe logo variant. Got the trio. I also found... FF558, which is the first cameo of the new Defenders, who later becomes the, what is it? Let me see, I got it written on the back. Fantastic Force. And then a book I was happy to find in the dollar bin was Wolverine Origins, number one variant, the Turner variant. Just a great, great cover. Also found Ghost Rider, number 27, first appearance of Sister Sarah, and first appearance of Zachiel, if I pronounce that right. Probably butchered the name, but um, close enough, I guess. And the uh, death of the first caretakers in this book. And then a pleasant surprise which I don't even know it's a surprise anymore because the dollar bins have been yielding some great books lately. I found Ghost Rider number 33, first appearance of a slew of Ghost Riders. And this book here can fetch you 45 to 50 bucks. And it's a, I think a fairly low print run. And this thing is in near mint. If you can see that in the light, I'm probably giving you bad angles. Let me see. Yeah, this this has a little over 21,300 copies. Now, for the awesome books, and these were not dollar bin finds. These were Moon Knight number one. ASM 238 Homage, which I, I love ASM 238 cover. That's That had to be one of my favorite covers of all time. Still is. 
But um, I had Tyler Kirkham autograph it. Sorry, messed it up with the white. He grabbed blue, signed it real quick. I didn't have a chance to say, hey, can we pick a different color? But the blue came out pretty good. And then a super, super rare appearance. All is Tyler Kirkham and myself. I typically don't show myself on camera. I don't know, camera shy or, or whatever. Let me fix my sand. And then I also had Venom, number one, signed by Ryan Stegman. And you can see his signature right there. And I love bronze signatures on dark covers. Look how that pops. Anytime I have a dark cover, I try to get it signed in bronze. I don't think any other color stands out better than that. I mean, look at that. That is just beautiful. Beautiful. And then the last book, which I got, I hope you guys really enjoy. But um, you see my Batcave Comics logo there. I had Ryan Stegman actually draw my logo with his twist, his take on it, on Grayson number one. Uh, he asked me to give him a book with the most canvas on it, and this so happened to be it. So this is the book I chose. And I am super, super happy with that. Look at that. That is just killer work. And he signed it. I forgot to have him put the year on it, though. So hopefully I see him at Megacon. I'm going to take this book and have him put the year on it. And then, again, another rare appearance is Ryan Stegman and myself holding Venom 1 in this beautiful masterpiece he created for me. Thanks again. I appreciate everyone's support. If you like my content, please hit that sub button, hit that bell. I'm trying to break 500. I still got a ways to go. Everyone have a good night. Have a happy Mother's Day. Batcave Comics.